Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I apologize for the lighting. I don't know what is up. Like I could, I literally spent like 20 minutes trying to get this lighting better. Um, and I'm really sorry about it. I'm doing the best I can. Um, but today's video is going to be a license announcement video and kind of my tips to, and like what I went through in order to get my license, which is kind of like a lot. Like I literally sucked at getting to this point. Um, but yeah, anyway, I have my license now. Yay! Um, which means we can do a lot more fun videos and I'm able to like go get supplies for videos and do all that fun stuff without the requirement of my parents, which is so nice and so much, gonna make everything so much more fun. But for this video, I just kind of wanted to like talk about what happened and how I got here. Um, again, I'm really sorry for the lighting. I'm trying to fix it. Not really, not right now, but like I'm trying to fix it for next week's video because clearly I can't film in the spot unless the lighting is like crappy. But anyway, we're just gonna sit like kind of close up. I don't know because that's the only way you're gonna be able to see me. But yeah, so I got my license. I'm gonna put my picture of my license photo right here. Um, I kind of hate the photo, but like it's fine because like it doesn't matter as much. I don't know. This is the license photo that I got from the paper. I haven't gotten the official, like, license yet. This is the paper that is, like, the paper license, I guess. That's the photo there, so it is in black and white. But, um, so I got that. And then, like, a what? Let's start from the beginning. Okay. So, I took my permit test, like, four, five times before I actually passed it. Um, pro tip literally all half the questions I, at least i kept getting were all related to like what's it called like oh how many years were your license be suspended if you were like pulled over and you were drunk driving or like blah 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 and it's just all stuff like that like related to like suspensions and like drunk driving and driving under influence and stuff like that all the ones i kept getting were like that for the permit test at least and it was so annoying so annoying i hated it and I was like, I don't understand. And like the second, like the second and third time, like I took it, I was like two points off from passing. Like I could have passed by like two points. And I was so pissed. But then I finally went and I had to like drive out in the middle of freaking nowhere to go take the permit test again. And I passed. Finally, I passed in October. Um, and now we're here. Uh, so I what I did be instead of taking, so I did try to take driver's ed at my school. But they kicked me out because I didn't pass my permit test in time. I don't know. He was like, you have to pass it by Friday or else you have to get out of the class. And I was like, I don't have time for that because um, I don't have a license. So, like, as you know, I don't have a license. So, like, I need someone to drive me there. And I have no one to drive me there because my parents are busy. So, I don't understand how you think I'm going to do that. Um, yeah, so there's that. But it was fine because I ended up taking driver's ed at A1 Driving. Um, I don't know. I know they have them all over Utah, but I don't know where else they might have them. But I highly recommend A1. They're actually really, like, it's really easy. I did the open road online version instead of, like, the in-person classroom. Um, but that's just, like, in case, like, I don't know, they're opening that back up again. Because I'm pretty sure the classrooms were closed. But, um, I did it online, um, on the open road. That is an option. And then you have to do, and then you have to do three observations two hours each and then three drives two hours each um i did all of my observations first and then all of my drives and i think it was so easy it was so nice the instructors that i was working with were really nice and really great i had like a different one like every time except for all my observations that was all the same person somehow i don't know what happened there but it just did um i've been saying like um a lot i'm sorry anyway uh, so I did all my observations, and then, like, I was so busy, I'm still so busy all the time, and between work and everything, that eventually I just did not have time to get all my drives done, and I was, like, I, my six month, like, ended with, like, my six months with my permit ended in the beginning of April, and I waited till the end of April to, like, go take the road test and, like, to figure all that out. I think it was, like, Yeah. Like, the last week of April is when I took all my road tests. Um, and I just, like, went and did them. Like, literally all in one week, I just went and did them. And then I tried to go take my road test, and I did a dumb thing. 
And as much as I was embarrassed by this dumb thing, I'm going to tell you about it anyway so you guys don't do it because I did. Um, I scheduled the road test wrong with the DLD. Make sure you schedule a road test, like a, like a road test. It has to say road test because I didn't see that when I was scheduling it. I didn't see a thing say road test. And I scheduled the wrong thing and they told me I couldn't take it. But, so that's if you want to take it at the DLD though because I took my road test with um, Drive Right and Drive Right was actually like so much better. They were so nice. Um, I messed up a little bit the first time so I had to retake the road test. Um, there was just like two parts that like I missed, like I barely didn't pass, which is okay, it's fine. Um, I totally, you know, I just went and redid it like two days later and the guy was super nice about it and he was like, it's chill, like you just, as long as you like do these few things, like you're chilling and then you can pass, like I already know that you're like a good driver. And I was like, cool, thanks bro. Um, so that, like that was really easy and really quick for me to like get that done and we didn't even do like go up as far as we usually did in the first one if that makes sense because we usually went like up and like into this other neighborhood we didn't we just went like down like an alleyway and like did the stuff so you know so we could redo everything so we did that um and then i passed it and then i had to go back to the dld to get like my paper which is so nice i'm so done happy that i'm like done with all that um so that's that's it i have my license now don't currently have a car so let me back backtrack remember when we did a video about my toyota and we cleaned it and we decorated it um we're debating we're debating on selling it at some point at some point though let me point out i probably will be driving it from here to time from time to time i also will be driving my dad's bmw because that's what i practiced on so that's the one i'm most comfortable in is that and a Honda Civic. So my goal, my ultimate goal is to sell the Toyota and buy a Honda Civic. That's what I want to do at some point. Hopefully soon, like in a couple of months. Like the summer, I'm not going to worry about it as much. But like once senior year starts to come up, I'm hopefully I'm going to try to like find a Honda Civic I can buy. I'm mostly just waiting to talk to my dad about it because I think we just kind of decided we weren't going to worry about it, which is totally fine considering that my dad has the truck. My dad has a truck and then the BMW and then my mom has a car. So we have three cars plus the Toyota that we can like use. And the Toyota is perfectly fine. It just doesn't get fast enough for like me to like safely get through a freeway drive. Like my mom's just really nervous that it would like break down or something. And I totally understand that because it sounds really weird when you drive in it. And I swear that the other day when I went to drive it for a second to like see if it would run. I couldn't get it to like go. Like, I put it in drive, and I was pressing on the pedal, and it wouldn't move. And I was like, yeah. So that happened, and I just, I don't even know. But I like the BMW, and I've been driving the BMW, and we're chilling, and I'm just going to stick with that for now, because that's the only thing that I have that I'm comfortable driving in. So, okay. Now, I think I did weasel in a couple tips and tricks right there, but I am just going to, like, kind of mention that... My neighbors. My window's open. I'm sorry. Um, but yeah, I kind of weaseled in some tips and tricks right there. So it's kind of mostly what I have to say. Um, head checks are very, 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 very important. Um, head checks are literally probably one of the most important things, especially on a road test, because that was one of the top things that I just like didn't do enough. Like I did head check, but I didn't head check enough for me to like actually pass the first road test. Which is fine, y'all. I figured it out and I realized what I was doing and I start... I had check all the time now. I had check like crazy maniac right now. So, if you don't know what a head check is, you'll learn it in driver's ed. But it's basically when you like... Instead of just looking in your mirrors. Okay. Um, I don't really know what else to say. I just really needed to get a video out. And I really just wanted to like announce that I had my license and not like what's going on. Um, in terms of like stuff with me, I'm just going to kind of talk. For a little bit longer okay you okay with that okay so um i have so many videos planned and i kind of just want to like talk about it um hold up pause reverse do y'all remember this book she's beautiful and she has so many ideas y'all okay let's shall we um i have so many so many video ideas i really want to do a quizzing my ballet my non-ballet dancer friends on ballet terminology and then I want to teach them how to do ballet 
and just dance stuff and I want to do that really bad. Um, I have some like senior graduation stuff that will be coming up in the next year. Um, I want to do like a bunch of random stuff. There's going to be a packing video. I really want to do a recreating my baby photos. Um, my favorite YouTubers Instagram photos. My old Instagram photos. And outfits I found on Pinterest. Those are all recreating videos I want to do. And then I want to do four week videos. Here's a couple of those that I really want to do. Um, waking up at 6 a.m. for a week. Monochrome outfits. Dressing like my favorite YouTubers. Um, letting my guy friends style me. Different aesthetics. Sister choose my outfits. Um, let's see. I have a couple of collab videos kind of. Kind of. I also wanted to ask you guys. Um, please comment down below if there's any videos you guys want to see with my mom. I'm going to try to fuck cut. Ugh. I'm going to try to come up with some more videos that my mom can be in because she gets a lot of views. Like, not that I'm in it for the views or whatever. But, like, she gets a lot of attention when she's on my YouTube channel. And she's great. So, I think y'all should, like, give me some ideas. Anyway. So, I want to do a video where I teach my friends how to dance. Um, I want to do Who Knows Me Best versus Sister versus my mom. So, that will be one we can get my mom in and my sister. Um, answer. So, I, you know how a while back I did a guys answer girls questions? I want to do a girls answer guys questions. And then I want guys, I want to test guys on their knowledge of girl products. That would be fun. Um, I want to do a couple different collection videos for makeup, my vinyls, shoes. Sorry, I was so confused because I wrote like shoes and then like for like the collection section of my, because I labeled them into like sections like reviews, testing, other, collabs, car related, um, recreate and redo, dance, four week. Anyway, so the collection one, it says, it says 154 pairs. And I'm like, girly, like that I wanted to have that many pairs of shoes to like for the video, but like. Girly, who has that much pairs of shoes? I mean, like, probably someone does, but... Anyway, um, I have a bunch of other ones, like... Let's see. Um, letting my sister narrate my day. That one's actually gonna be coming up in about a week, so... Get ready for that. So, there's some of those. I really just need to have the time to put them into motion. So, I'm gonna show you a little bit of what my schedule is looking like, because I like telling you guys about these things, and I want you guys to know. So... So, today is the 16th. I have work tonight. I don't have work tomorrow, but I have a little film shoot for school going on until 6. That's why I have to film this today and edit today. Um, and then I have work on Tuesday. I work on Wednesday along with a dress rehearsal for school on Wednesday. A dance showcase with my school. Um, and the dance showcase goes on Thursday Friday. I do need to probably find time to film a YouTube video between all of this so I can post on Friday. Um, my dance show is from Thursday, Friday, and then I will probably film on Wednesday. I mean, not Wednesday, geez. I'll probably film on Saturday the 22nd for Monday the 24th. And then on Wednesday the 26th, I will vlog for the My Sister Narrates My Day for the Friday video. And then that entire week, I think I'm going to be filming an Outfits of the Week video um on the week of the 24th so that outfits of the week video will be coming out on the 31st and then we have june june is really exciting because that's when school gets out i'm so excited about it um so i'm not really sure when school gets out to be honest with you i was told like on the website it said it was the fourth but then i was told that like it was going to be like the seventh because we utah had a bunch of wind storms and like an earthquake and power outages at the beginning of the school year like we were under attack i swear like, what was going on? Anyway, we missed a, like, a bunch of school was, like, cut out because of the power outages that was going on, like, near our school and stuff. And, like, in my, because I was, used to live really close to my school. So, like, in that area, like, all that entire area was, like, all didn't have electricity for a hot minute, like, a good week. So, I was, I was thinking that, like, I don't even know. I don't know, but like, I don't know what's going on, so I don't know what day, last day of school is, but I will be doing a get ready with me for the last day of school. I will also vlog the last day of school and post that. I am going to try to start vlogging more and post those on Wednesdays. After you guys saw my Instagram, I am going to try to do that. So there's that. On the 11th of June, we are leaving to Orlando. That is still the plan. I'm like almost positive that's still the plan. If things change, that's okay. We'll figure it out. But I will be doing a pack with me video for that trip 
and I will also be vlogging that trip as much as I can because I think we are going to a water park and fun stuff like that. So I have all of that. I have a dance showcase going on at the end of June. Um, there's a dress rehearsal on the 25th and then the show is on the 26th. I will probably do a get ready with me for that as well because my get ready with me's are so fun and so easy to film. And I don't know, even my dance teacher like sometimes watches my get ready with me for dance showcases. Which is funny because I literally, you know, get ready and I go see her. Um, yeah, and then I have some other big things coming up in the end of June as or the early July. I'm not really sure yet. Anyway, that's it for this video. I really just wanted to talk about that with you guys and just kind of announce that little license stitch. Um, but I hope you guys like this video. Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And please share it with your friends my channel because I'm going to be posting so much more and really trying to grow it. I also really want to start growing my Instagram. So if you guys want to start following my Instagram, you definitely should. It, the link in the, it's linked in the description. Um, and I'm really, really sorry that I'm always looking so rough. Like, I wear this shirt in, like, all my videos. I'm so sorry. Okay, that's it for this video. Um, you know, like, do everything I just said. And have a good day, good night, good evening, or whenever you're watching this. Bye!